building the ultimate prison requires a prison. So on the left side, we've got a few to-dos. First of all, we've got to read the CEO's letter. Dear sir, congratulations, yeah, the CEO. Delete. We need to build a holding cell, shower, yard, kitchen, canteen. So it's called a quick build. So what we got to do here is we need a holding cell in here somewhere. We need a shower. So we're going to build a shower in here. We do need a bit of a yard. So it'd be nice to probably put a yard over here. Need a kitchen. We also need a canteen. So one thing what we might do is we're just going to go to a brick wall and we're going to just make sure we add in some extra walls in here. And then by the front door here, we need a door. We're going to make sure it is a large jail door. And then the last thing that we need is to get some doors in here instead of over here. But that's all right. We will let our deliveries come in. We'll get our construction people to start building all of this up. And they should be able to build this really quick. All we got to do now is hire two guards. Oh, can't even do that, can I? We've got to fire some stuff. So let's do that. And then we can come back up, hire two guards and two cooks. So just like that, the basic detention center is completed. So let's also unlock the prison maintenance. This is quite easy. We'll come into bureaucracy and well, everything is already unlocked. Of course, we want to play the game quickly. So all we got to do now is hire a foreman and two janitors. And you know what the heck, two guards. I can't even hire a gardener. Really? All right, delete one worker. And just like that, the grant is completed. That was quite easy, wasn't it? So let's now unlock inmate health well-being. What do we got to do? We need to build some health things. So we'll come into quick builds here and we'll come into medical ward. And let's chuck that possibly in here. The health and well-being grant is done. So one thing that you're going to notice is, well, we've got some water problems and we've got electricity problems. So we're going to build the utility room on the outside of the prison. And then coming into utilities, we need to get electricity cables in here. And the last thing that we need is water. We'll need to get a large water pipe coming all the way in over to here. And then we'll get some small pipes connected into the big pipe here. So I think that should be okay. We've also got two toilets here that we'll have to connect up to there. We've got a sink here to connect up. And that's pretty much all we need to connect. Let's try and get maybe eight prisoners in here. I think that should be all right. So we're going to accept another grant called the Administration Center while we're waiting for our new prisoners. And all we got to do is hire an accountant. Oh, exceeds the daily budget. <laughs> oh, looks like we got to wait at the moment, but the new prisoners should be here shortly. And here they are. Check them out. All right, they're all ready to go. We've got the security guards bringing them in to the holding cell. And now that we've got some money, let's go to the accountant. Let's hire her. And that's another grant done. We've got too many prisoners sitting over here now. What we need to do is we've got to take a look at cell block A. Raise your prisoner capacity to 15. So we are going to select that, but it's not going to be as simple as what we think it's going to be. We're going to come into foundations. We're going to create our own prison. Now, seeing we've got our utility over here, I'm actually thinking of deleting it. We're going to build our utility most probably over in this room over here. Now it's time to build a brand new prison cell. So we are going to want to utilize this whole area to build a new cell block. So I think it's going to be three wide, which is going to be pretty good. And what do we want to do? 40 by 40. And we'll build this foundation up first. And once this is done, we can start then placing it in all of these basic cells. And actually looking at that, we can start placing them now. So the new cell block is completed now. Of course, the builders have left a bunch of rubbish everywhere. So all we've got to do is come through here and just try and sell everything that's here. The next thing is to sell off all of our workers because we're not profitable. So now our new maximum prison account is 44. So we are going to come to prison intake and we want to fill to capacity, which is 44. So we're going to have 44 new people coming in in five hours time. Oh my, look at all the trees growing. Look at this. This is insane. Actually, saying that we don't have much money at the moment, it might be a good idea to dismantle objects. So all the trees, we might as well start getting rid of. At least everything that's here type thing. Actually might be a good idea to hire a few more workers to actually cover all this. All of our new inmates are here. And they're all going to be taken to their cells. And actually a good idea might be to hire some more guards. Try and get our guard count up to about 20. So that should be all right. And seeing that we are doing a lot of things down here, we can come down here to sell object. And from $21,000 to 56. That is beautiful. A nice money making machine here. So coming back into our grants. Now we can look at cell block B, which is pretty good. We can actually look at that because we're already 88% complete. So all we got to do 
food is come to quick build and really i think we only need to fill in all of this space here let's take a look at a short term and possibly long term investment so we'll get that done all of our builders are also dismantling lots and lots of trees too and we are also making money as we export them we are winning at the end of the day here so all the money that we have lost guys we have made back look at that over a hundred thousand dollars are again cannot wait to build a mega farming i don't know what i'm saying a mega farming tree industry just so we can make as much money as possible but i think that should be right we've got plenty of hours to go until we get these funds and as soon as these cell blocks here are done we will reach that other grant and then we'll be able to introduce even more prisoners this prison is gigantic we've got a lot of prisoners and a small everything else so i think seeing that we know how to play prison architect and yes it's been about one year since we've played it here on the channel and seeing that we are already doing so so good in the first video i think the next video it's time to start probably planning out the rest of this prison otherwise guys that's gonna be it for today's video if you got any thoughts and suggestions make sure you leave it in the comments down below also subscribe down below to not miss out on any new prison architect videos and guys i'll see you all in a new video soon